Welcome back to my cycling channel. Today's video is a vlog style video and out on my ride I run into a cop and we have a conversation about a pickup truck buzzing me. I really hope you enjoy the video. Let's go. I'm super late and I woke up the sky just booming booming and like lightning and thunder and my wife's like dude you can't go out there so anyways the forecast says it's gonna stop but i'm gonna get out there i'm running late my biggest worry is that no one shows up because i want to get some good footage for you guys let's get out there let's get going this is uh yeah. okay let's do this let's do it i'm soaked but at least it's warm oh this is usually where i meet the group ride um i don't know if they're gonna come because it's raining um but hopefully, hopefully we get some action. Hopefully we get some action. Let's do this. I wake up late, I leave late. I don't know why I do this stuff. All right, let's see if these guys come. So I missed the group ride, of course, and I don't know if it's because they didn't show up or because I was late, but yeah, I'm a little frustrated. I missed the group ride. Um, it is a little like, you know, now what am I gonna do? So I think I'm just gonna cruise at a steady pace. I got a really hard workout coming up tomorrow, and then FTP Builder. If you watch my channel, you know that crazy workout. The next week's gonna be really hard on the bike because I get three days off. We're going to clear water on Feb 15th for three days, and then we're going to Tucson. Yeah, it's gonna be an exciting couple weeks, so I can't wait to show you guys what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna drive straight to Tucson, so it's gonna be like 30 hours. Um, I think it's our best option with the kids to just let them sleep and boom, just go straight there. Um, but we might chop it up, we'll see how we feel. Um, but look at how beautiful it turned out. I'm here in uh, Winter Garden, and this is an awesome little spot you can see here. But right now, I just want to finish this ride and get home. Check this out, I love this, and I've never seen anything like this before. I don't, tell me what you guys think about this, watch this. We got this sign here, and then this amazing guy, look at this, now watch, now watch, watch, watch. Boom. Not bad, eh? I got something for this guy. It's soaked. We're giving, we're, we're hooking this guy up. Yeah. Putting a five in there for him. Boom. Love that. I love it. What a guy. What a guy. Like yesterday. Now check this out. Gonna have to give her the old hose when I get home. Let's do it. Just got home. A little noisy out here, so uh, might have to move. Let's give the bike an old spray. This is where I run into the cop, and I wanted to tell you exactly what happened here. So I'm riding, I'm almost close to home, about 30 minutes away. This pickup truck just buzzes me. He's like this close to me. 
The next car is another pickup truck, a white pickup truck, and he gives me all kinds of room. And then the next car is a cop. And I like wave my hands, I'm like, come on, pull over, this is crazy, why, why'd you let him do that? And then this is the conversation that ensues. It's a little long, so if you're not interested, just, you know, fast forward through it or click away or whatever. I'm gonna record this. You didn't see he was like this close to me? The guy who turned left right there. Who um, like he passed me on my arms went in the air. One car went by. The white truck or the gray truck? The truck with the roofing along the side. Okay. So there were two trucks. There's a white and red. The white one gave me enough room. The white it was one gave a gray you one. Room. So the other one going the opposite direction. The guy okay. There was a white there was a gray truck right. with like, roofing. With roofing riding on it that turned on the sun. Yeah. That I guy was like this close to me. That close to you? I didn't see it, so I can't pull oh. him over because I didn't see it. I appreciate it. But it, I believe he was on the opposite side of the road, okay? If what do you, I saw what him, I would have completely I thought he was going southbound. I believe he was going southbound. We're going south. Or northbound. northbound. I, I have a cycling YouTube channel, and like the problem is, like we get abused out here. Oh yeah, I mean you guys are on a on a busy road and cars think that they own it and you guys can't do anything on it. No, no I completely I, get where I, you're I, coming from. I appreciate that. I completely that. get where you're coming from. I, just, I have to physically see him. And you didn't, you didn't see, didn't see it. Traffic. Okay, I, I appreciate it. I'm gonna pull up, I don't want yeah. to. And, but like, I don't know if you saw this thing in Las Vegas, where um, like five cyclists dead. Yeah, because of meth had hit him. And it's like, I think the thing that like I struggle with mm -hmm. is like, so we're legally allowed to be on the road. Yeah. Yeah. You use the roads on the side. And we're legally, they're legally supposed to give us a meter. Yeah. They're supposed to slow down for you guys. And if they don't, mm -hmm. what happens? Well, then they commit a traffic infraction and then I pull them over. But I have to physically see yeah. that they committed a violation. Yeah. And I did not see a violation. And it's I was right. watching the white truck who was right in front of me go right. around you and he gave you a Right. Yeah. And he did. And he even slowed down. It was yeah. the guy ahead of me. Yeah. So I saw him make a right going northbound on the center. So that's what I saw. Uh, no, it was the guy in the same direction and he had like a roofing truck. Like I didn't have my I camera. Missed, and then I missed the and I know. I, too far ahead of me. I get it. I know you guys can't see everything. And, and whatever. I just, it happens so often mm -hmm. that I get like, I get mad. Oh, you have every right to get mad. You know, so. And hey, if somebody ever does something to you that you're like, he did this, Give us a call, say, get their tag number and say, he almost hit me. And we can, again, we like have to put it on it. the record or something? Yeah, we'll, we'll come drive by and take note of it. You okay. Know? All right. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Yeah. You got a screw in your thing. Oh, thank you. Have you seen that one? No, I'll take a look at it. Thank okay. you. Uh, and thank you for being nice. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Um, but I think these, these conversations are really interesting because I've had a chance to ride in France and it's a different thing in France. If a driver hits a cyclist in France, it doesn't matter if the cyclist dies or whatever, the driver could be facing jail time and goes to jail. I talked to a guy in France and he said a driver hit four cyclists, none of the cyclists died and the driver went to jail. You see when I talk to her, she says, oh, well, if I saw him, I would do it. Like it's, well, I didn't see it, so it's no big deal. I get it, but listen, the guy broke the law he endangered my life and it's like, ah, oh, well, whatever. In France and in Europe, they take that serious and that's why the drivers don't do it. If the cops here at least enforce the law, it would be a much safer place for cyclists. I'm not calling out any cops. I'm not calling out any anyone. I'm just saying that this is the problem. And on today's ride, I almost got killed because some guy rode this close to me, 80 kilometers an hour, for no reason. I'm a loser because I'm on a bike and you're gonna scare the pants off me. I'm, like, I was terrified. Whenever I'm doing a video, I keep these things in mind. Cycling only, informative, lighthearted, and entertaining. That's what I try and put behind every video until we start talking about cycl cyclist safety. That's not lighthearted, that's important to me. I think it's a serious, serious issue here in North America. We do not get treated fair as cyclists. That's my opinion. If you disagree with me, that's fine. But that's my opinion as a cyclist. I really would love to see things change. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you soon.
If you want to follow along on my cycling journey and my YouTube journey, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you liked it and comment. Love to hear from you guys. I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you soon.